Hi everyone, Linda Israel here. It is 12.30 p.m. on July the 11th, Central Standard Time. This is a live mixed media with Linda Israel. So we're just gonna do some creative, fun things. Do know that just below this video, there is an icon that looks like a gear. Click on that and you can change the speed to two times the speed if you're watching this as a replay. We wanna make sure that we keep the chat portion while I'm live upbeat and friendly. So let's be kind to each other. If you have a question, type it out in all caps. I will do my best to read it and reply. If I don't, I'm sorry, I apologize. Things go fast and I may not always see the question, so ask again. Hopefully one of the moderators will see it and type it out again so I will see that. Um, you do earn junk bucks for being here, for watching, for liking, commenting, you know, during the live stream. So you can check your bucks balance and when you get to 2000 you can type in award and you can get a $10 off coupon. Right now I do have a raffle going on, so that means you would just type exclamation point raffle, and then you can be entered in. It's a free raffle, everybody's eligible to win. I do have a journal, I'm gonna show you just a second, that I will donate uh, or give away at the end if I get enough donations. I'm looking for $30 in donations, it's a smaller journal. <clears throat> so let me show you this. This was using, um, Oh, thank you, Deborah, for your donation. Thank you so much. This was using a piece from Sweet Elegance. I had printed these and worked on this a while back. There's kind of a hidden pocket here on the cover. It is a piece of watercolor paper that makes the cover. And then I've added a few little things that were in my stash, trying to use up those things that I have tons of and I need to get that out of my stash. And I thought today I would use this as our journal because I'll be doing some mixed media. I won't be making a journal today. I'll be making some elements that we can use in a junk journal. Part of those will be decorating a piece of paper so that we could use it to collage on. We'll make some journal cards possibly. And basically we're just going to do all mixed media. Thank you so much, Christy, for your donation. Thank you, Mary, for your donation. And Sherry, thank you for your donation. I greatly appreciate it. Y'all are so kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so I just wanted to kind of flip through this little uh, uh, journal so you can see it. And we'll get started here in just a moment. <clears throat> Set this aside. Glitter flying, Junkie Joe! Um, I take photos of my flowers in my yard and I uploaded those and shared them with Norella of Calico Collage. She is an amazing digital artist and I am so blessed to call her friend. And I thought we would use these for some junk journal projects coming up. And she went ahead and took a bunch of my photos and turned them into journal cards. It's amazing. I like the way she took my photos and overlaid them with other graphics as including the words she even used on some of them, my mixed media pages. Thank you, Darla, for your donation, and thank you, Carrie Ann, for your donation. Remember, if you make a donation, that you want to go to my website and create a user account there. Then use the contact me and send me a message with your YouTube name and the email address that you use to create the account and I will add you to my YouTube donator group, which gives you a discount, as well as the free digital downloads that I offer because of your donations. So this is a couple more of the cards. I'm gonna list these pretty soon in my shop. There'll be individual pages that you can purchase for a digital download. <clears throat> Yeah, isn't it beautiful, Giovanna? I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, they did print out nice. I loved it. Thank you so much, Norella. It's amazing. Uh, she was telling me that the background... Oh, I'm behind the sheet. The backgrounds, it may be hard for y'all to see it through the camera, but in person you can tell that those are my digital 
prints or uh, gel prints that she's digitally used with the flowers and it's just like wow those are my flowers that's amazing see here this is a, more the dig the uh, mixed media pieces that I have and there's some more here and then the flowers they're gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous but I'll get these listed in my shop for y'all and I hope you enjoy them hope you like them hope you like that kind of stuff um, what else? I was kind of playing around before I got started here, and I thought I would show you something that I made just before I began. So this is a mixed media piece that I created. I rubber stamped onto a piece of white paper. I added some paint around it, and then I fussy cut a stamped image. But let me show you how I make these pages. And then we'll go at the end. I'll show you how to turn them into stuff. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm checking to see if there's anything. Yes. Thank you, Robin, for explaining. There is some in games in the chat, if you will. You can play if you so choose. You'll see it when it comes up. It costs you 10 junk bucks. They're virtual bucks that you earn while watching. And you also earn bucks while you chat. And you also earn bucks playing the game as well as making donations so when you get 2,000 junk bucks you can redeem those for a coupon all right you love those Tamara thank you yeah ch in chat games Luana so basically when you see somebody type exclamation point boss it costs you 10 junk bucks to play that game and Junkie Joe will send out their results and then so many people or maybe even one will will win the buck. So, alrighty. Alright, I'm just kind of making sure that I don't have any more questions. So, I'm also going to be making a journal um, Monday. This is the one I'm going to be doing Monday. I have this little pocket that has stuff in it. It has some mixed media pages. It has a few pages from... Uh, Charming Forest. This was before I got my new printer. This has been in my stash for a year now. And I trimmed the pages, but I never finished making a journal out of all these pages. So that's what I'm going to be doing Monday. And I thought what I'd do today is make some mixed media pages and elements to go in that journal that I plan to make on Monday. So what I've started with is... You have no junk bucks. You'll get some, Luann. Just give it a couple of minutes. You'll earn some. <laughs> I may. Let me see something. Where are your Pierce, Luann? L-U-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Okay, you haven't, you haven't watched long enough for me to award you a few junk bucks. But you'll get some. Just keep watching. <laughs> you'll be all right, Luann. Just ask questions if you have questions. Just watch and enjoy you know, comment when you want. Uh, this is all about having fun, okay? And again, if you want to make a donation, you can uh, through Super Chat, that's the dollar sign, or you can use the Streamlabs. I get more of the donation if you use Streamlabs on YouTube. They take 30%. So don't worry, Luana, you'll be okay. <laughs> you'll get some junk bucks. You'll get some, Irene. Just keep watching. You'll get a few. It takes just a little bit, and it'll come up. I was gonna look to see Cortez. It's a oh you've got you've got a few, Irene. You've got 15 junk bucks. Here I'll give you I'll give you here we go. There. You got a few to play. Okay. Alrighty. So here's what I've got. I got a book page. Simple enough, right? You rip them out of a book. Uh, maybe you've got some junk mail. Uh, there's lots of ways to get these book pages. This is your junk. In my opinion, this is my junk, okay? Uh, this is what I'm going to use. Oh, thank you, Carrie, for your donation. So I've got a book page here. I've got a mixed media mat. It's a non-stick craft mat that normally is sold by Ranger Inc. If you're interested in a link to Amazon for this, just say so uh, in the chat, and Robin will make a note of that. So again, if there's something I miss... Or there's a note that you need to tell, say, you can do so. Robin will kind of grab it. Or you can go to my website and click on the Contact Me form and fill out what your question is. Always check your spam for an email from me at emailme at lindaisrael.com. Um, 
that way uh, we can communicate together and if you don't get a message from me right away send a message again and then I'll try to contact you through a different email address because sometimes my little personal email address doesn't always go through and that's why it's important that you follow up and I'll follow back up thank you Debbie for your donation thank you thank you thank you all right so I've got a blank sheet of paper here I think what I'm gonna do is I've got some just plain craft acrylic paint and I like this because it has somewhat of a, a dull chalky uh, texture to it and finish it's not shiny and it's easier when you do that to do layers on top of it because it doesn't resist so I'm gonna put a little bit of paint in my palette here uh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so sweet. All right, I'm shaking it up. I'm going to add another shade of kind of a, a little bit darker teal here. And then I, I save gift cards. Um, you know, when you get something, somebody gives you a gift card or maybe a hotel key or an old credit card. And I like to use that as a scraping tool. So what I'm going to do is just pick up a little bit of both colors. It's kind of hard to see on that colorful card. And I'm going to swipe it on the page, and I'm going to keep swiping on the page until the whole thing is covered in a thin layer of paint. You don't want it super thick. I think I have more. Oh, no, it's just one. You don't want it super thick because it won't dry. It'll take it a while to dry, and <coughs> it'll still be transparent if you do just slight layers. I like this tealy color. I'm adding just a little bit of the other color in there so you kind of get little shadows here and there. Okay, simple as that. We just color a page and then I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to move it here just a moment. Um, thank you, Robin, for letting us know. Hey, Mariana, glad to have you here. Whoop, whoop. And let's see. You read dozens on Kindle, yeah. Sometimes it, you, it's hard to tear up those Kindle books, right, Luana? <laughs> I pick up books at the thrift store. I also go to the Dollar Tree uh, here in the U.S. in Oklahoma, per se. They have a lot of dollar books, and I don't feel bad about tearing those books up. They're only a dollar, and maybe they won't get read by somebody, but I'm going to give them another purpose. <laughs> You may or may not want to watch what the books say if you're not going to really obliterate the text. Because some people, you know, they don't want to see certain things. So they will uh, not buy some books. I'm just grabbing a sheet of paper here. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a stencil. This is from the um, July Stencil Club. Yeah, July Stencil Club. I'm going to lay that on top of the page, and I'm going to grab, let's see if what I've got here. That's Party Pink. I've got some Party Pink. It's Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. <laughs> yep, library sell them for a quarter. Perfect. I've gone to, um, here in Oklahoma, we have Friends of the Metropolitan Library book sale, and I got a bunch of books this last time. All right, so I'm going to go through the stencil. Oh, wait, I was going to do something else first. Wait, wait, rewind. Just kidding. <laughs> I forgot I wanted to do two pages. So I'm going to get some more paint onto this and do two pages because I plan to spray and then I want to kind of mop up. So this time I'm grabbing more of that darker teal. So you get a little more variation. I like it. I don't know. I can just sit here and paint papers just like this all day. I just love that it changes the look. And I can use these any way I want. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> no, me? I'm not funny. <laughs> You've never been to a thrift store, Tamara? You know, it's, we call them secondhand stores or thrift stores. Um, you know, it's a great place to find a lot of things. Some people, you know, grow out of 
an item, they no longer like it, they no longer love it, so they get rid of it through a Salvation Army, thrift store, Goodwill, something like that. And when they do that, it's kind of a treasure for the rest of us. We don't have to pay retail price. Kind of think of it like buying a used car as opposed to a new one. The person who bought the new car, sure, they got that new car smell, but they also paid the taxes and all the fees, and you can take it and wash it, and then you can drive it, you know, get it clean. So you can do the same thing with clothing and lots of other things. They're a, they're a lot of fun. Don't get out much, Tamar. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I, you know, I, I I don't anymore get out very much. I go to the gym and I come right back home. I don't stay out very often. All right, so I'm just using Party Pink and I'm spraying it on top. Sometimes I'm a little heavy-handed with it. It's okay. It will seep under the stencil a little bit if you spray too much. But I'm just going to go ahead and lay this on top and mop it up. And this is how I made that background on that journal card that I showed you just a few minutes ago. And I'm okay with it not being perfect because that's the, the nature of mixed media. You never know what you're going to get fully. So this, see how it just kind of changes that color just a little bit? You're just laying around, Christy. <laughs> Ooh, cake with blackberry jam on it. Oh my gosh. Cake. <laughs> yeah, you got to stay cool, Mariana. It gets too hot out there. <clears throat> you get ranked by Junkie Joe by being here. And as you uh, come to the live streams and make donations, after so many uh, hours of being on here, you get a title. I like the way that one turned out. It's just, it's just subtle. I don't know. It's kind of cool. All right. You like that kind of idea of, of coloring a page? Let's do a couple more. I've got some more of that blue still on my palette. So I'm going to paint a few pages just so I'll have them for other techniques. Because I've got some other techniques I want to try and show y'all. I'm getting off camera. Alrighty, let's keep painting a few pages and setting on the side to dry. Paint pages! Let's paint, paint, paint! I like painting papers! It's fun! I got to I got to use up all the paint. Alrighty. All right, so we have any questions? I'm just looking. Yeah, I understand, Luann. <laughs> this uh this app that I use is part of the the streaming app and that's how it keeps track is whenever you come during the stream it records your activity so if I could get it to record offline activity I would but it doesn't work that way I like that one sometimes you get some interesting looks on your papers whenever you paint them like this and it, the color is not doing justice in the camera. All right. Oh, Carrie Ann got her award. Thank you. Robin's taking notes for me. I'm hoping Carrie Ann, the little, little gypsy. <clears throat> you you tried this yesterday, Julie. You liked it. The the live chats are so much fun. Thank you, Regina, for saying so. I'm glad y'all like them. I try to make them entertaining. I also try to share techniques and ideas with you to encourage you and inspire you. Then we get a little chit chat and kind of hang out together and make friends. So I, I saw a few people kind of talking about the heat. 
So if you want to, you want to say, uh, you know, what state you live in or country, you don't have to give us specifics. We don't want Pacifics um, or specific specifics, specifics, not Pacifics, um, because we don't want you know people stalking you. But if you want to share what state you're in or something like that, maybe you'll find some friends. I was talking to one of my friends today. She's talking about moving. She's not from here. She's talking about moving here, in fact. Oh, thank you, Mariana, for your donation. The FFA is a free-for-all, Luana. That's another one of our end games that cost you 10 junk bucks to play, and you could win a bunch or nothing. Okay. Florida, Utah. Hey, Henry. Henry's my husband. You have to speed read. I know it goes fast, doesn't it? <laughs> There's another tealy kind of color. All right, so I've got a few pages of those. Let's um. Let's see here. I got two, two, two. Yeah, we've already used the paint, so let's do a different stencil. So I'm going to get a different stencil design, and let's decorate this page. I've got open lattice here. So I'm going to grab, I basically, I usually put um, my pages into my spray box. Today, I'm just going to lay them on my desk with another sheet of paper behind it to help soak up any extra paint. And I've got, let's look to see what other colors we have here. I got a dark blue here. We'll make a subtle pattern. You're welcome. Not right, Henry. Not right. You're supposed to let them have it. <laughs> They're going to think you're a cheater. <laughs> All right. So that was from, um, I think that was from the punked out steam color because the, the color name's different on the back of it, or it may just been a color I had laying here on my desk. I am going to be adding some more Tattered Angels to my shop soon. I've sold quite a bit, so thank you all. I really appreciate your support. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Now, that's just with mopping up without a painted page. So you get a whole different look. And then here we are on the painted page. And you get a subtle pattern. I like it. It's cool. It's really faint. It's light enough that you could write on top of this if you want. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Give them to Giovanna. <laughs> oh, dear. You like that stencil, Tamara? This one was called Open Lattice. It's one of my, my go-tos. I tend to use it a lot. I like the way that looks. All right, so let's see. Oh, I've got this one and this one. Well, let's do that. So this one is like check marks. Oh, it won't fill up. Oh, we'll do it this way. I'm going to flip this over. I'm letting it get dirty. We're getting dirty in here. All right. And it's not that kind of dirty. We're just painting, painting papers. All right, so I'm going to lay these two stencils on top. I'm going to use the sprays again. Let's use that dark blue again because that's, that's really subtle. So I'm going to kind of... So now we'll get a couple of different looks from that. I'm going to do the mop up with a plain sheet of paper again. Okay. Oh, you love it, Mariana? Yay! It's fun, isn't it? 
And basically that's what I'm doing here in reverse. I'm spraying it on the painted paper and then I'm lifting up and I'm getting a pattern. All right, so there's some, the mop up on there. Just a subtle pattern. And then there's a subtle pattern here. I like it. It's really faint and it adds a little bit of shimmer to the page. All right, let's paint a couple more pages. <clears throat> let's paint just a couple more. All right, I've got a purple here. So let's do a purple. I need, I'm going to add some white to it, I think. So I'm going to use the same palette that I have up here. may have a little bit of other colors in it, but I'm going to grab some purple. Is that the shade of purple? I'm going to want this one. And some white. I'm going to add some white. Yeah, white. I was going to add ivory. I, I just said white. White. Oh, dear. Oh, wait. I missed up. Where did, where did Linda have problems with some? Because I sprayed them. Only, okay, so on your sprayers that leak, try this. So you take it apart. Take this part, pull this off, okay? And then make sure that that's in there tight. My, this was not completely empty. You can also take this tube out and clean everything and put it back together. Um, if it's still really bad on them, I may have to replace the sprayers. I have a few that they finally sent to me that I can replace them with. Um, so if you're placing an order, just let me know. Oh yeah, these are my stencils that I have in my shop. I'm using the um, July Stencil Club. It's $19.99 a month. You get four stencils, two eight and a half by 11 stencils, and two five by seven stencils. And then I have individual stencils that I sell in my shop. And those are all eight and a half by 11. And they range in price from ten to eleven ninety nine, something like that. I like the purple and the white. It's kind of got an ombre effect in some of the areas. Let's dry it. <laughs> We've reached the raffle amount, so thank y'all for doing that. I greatly appreciate it. Helps support me. So if you want a chance to win the little journal that I showed at the beginning, just make a donation. And remember that for your donation, you also get um, digital downloads and discounts in my shop. <clears throat> I like it. It's kind of cool. No, Henry's older than me. The subscription boxes are a combination of items that Norella and I have put together. Norella does the graphic works for the kits, and then I make a stencil that matches the kit. You also get a t bottle of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in the kit. You get a printed journal ready-made journal that you can add items to you get three sheets of elements to fussy cut out then you get a whole package of goodies that have journal cards in them as well as um, lace and fibers and buttons and beads and all kinds of goodies and you can use those to make junk journals i usually go live uh, three times in the month to show you how to use that month's box. So I've just been doing the youthful yellow in my shop. It will ship out on the 15th. If you haven't ordered yours, please do so soon um, so I can get that out on the 15th. Otherwise, afterwards, they'll just ship out as the orders come in. 
<clears throat> the next subscription box will be so artsy and it will come out the end of July. I'll start showing that the last Monday of July and then um, it will ship out on August the 15th. I still have purple paint. I'm going to try to use it all. Oh, I'm picking up some of that teal underneath. Trying to use up all the paint. A little darker purple on there. Okay. Lift this up. Lift it. Just painting papers. Thank you so much, Bunny. I'm so glad you like them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was making little kits of stuff, and my friends were like, well, why don't you make big kits of stuff? And so I started doing some research, trying to figure out how much I could do it, what I could do, and so I started making subscription boxes. I'm just ripping pages out of a book. Monday, I'm going to be working with the Charming Forest journal kit. Um partial kit because I had part of it printed and so I'm going to try to use it up that I've had in my stash. All right, so we've got, we've done some stenciling with Tattered Angels. So now let's do some different stenciling where we take the same pages, but we're going to use paint this time. So I'm just going to grab I've got a stencil here that I've got. It's called Scattered Flowers. Thank you, Janice, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. I am... I still see paint on my palette, so I'm going to try to see if I can't get it off. Don't want to waste the paint. Sometimes you got to really work it work it to get all the paint okay I think I finally got the paint palette clean all right so I've got a dried page so this page has been dried that's underneath I'm gonna lay my scattered flower stencil on top I'm gonna grab a tealy color of the uh, acrylic paint. Yeah, just a little bit of white. Thank you, Luana, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I'm going to use, it's a Tim Holtz blending tool with a sponge on it, and I just use the sponge that come in the with the handles, and I like it because it's easier to use. When I'm done with the paint color, I just have a thing of water over to the side, and I'll clean it out in the water. So I'm just going to tap it onto the paint here. I'm kind of getting both the white and the teal. And then I'm going to pounce over the stencil. I've got a thing of water to my side that when I'm done, I'll be able to pop the stencil down in it to help rinse off some of that paint. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, the paint will build up over time. Um, but if you kind of rinse it off in between every once in a while, it'll clean up pretty well. So just a quick way to decorate a page, and it's real subtle. Nudge, nudge, poke, poke. Okay, it's time for me to do the first raffle drawing. So if you haven't already, please enter the raffle. That is exclamation point R-A-F-F-L-E. And I'm going to draw, so I'm going to get some water. All right, New Mexico. All right. Am, are, am I ever unable to send people their winnings? It depends if I have their address. <laughs> so 
So I, it depends if I have their address. I've got some that went out uh, this past couple of days, and I've got more that will come out uh, probably tomorrow or Saturday as I package it all up. It takes time, y'all. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I like that. I think that turned out pretty. What do you think? It's kind of subtle. You kind of get an interesting background. You could still write over the top of it if you use a black ink pen. Okay, yeah. Um, make, hey, uh, send me a message on my website because maybe I don't have your address. It Maybe it didn't go through. But I did mail out a bunch of things the other day, so I don't know if you were in that. All righty. And I take my time getting them done because it takes time. <laughs> All right, so we use that. What do we want to do next? I've got another. I think this next one, I want a darker teal, not as much white, and a little bit more of a, another color of teal. And I'm looking through my stencils to decide what do I want to use? Oh, I know what I want to use because I just love the way it looks. If I can find it, there it is. I like this uh, flower tile stencil. It's one of my favorites. Okay. So I'm kind of lining this up here. Now I've got teal squirrel. I know. I know. Squirrel. <laughs> All right, time to do the drawing. <laughs> Thanks for saying that, Robin. <laughs> I got a drink of water. I was giving y'all a chance to get in the winter. All right, uh, pick a winner. Giovanna, you want some junk books? <laughs> uh, 200 junk books. I'll award those here a little bit later. All right, so let's reset this. And let's pick a prize. What do I want to do? I have, they've been open, but it's a set of little pocket cards, all different kinds of colors. They were normally five bucks. Looks like I paid $1.50 for them. They may not all be there. I don't know if I've used any of them, but they're little pocket cards. So they're like a two and a half or three and a half. I don't know if they're three by four. Maybe I should measure them. They are three by four three by four inches all right so we're just gonna put uh, pocket cards open giveaway all righty I got it Robin I got it <laughs> all right you're very welcome Giovanna a uh, junk box are earned while you are here watching and when you make donations or if you play the in chat game, when you get to 2,000 junk bucks, you can redeem those for a $10 off coupon to my shop. So just by being here and chatting, you know, logging in and chatting with us and playing the in games, the chat games and making donations gets you junk bucks. Okay, I'm just pouncing through this tile stencil. You ready for the big reveal? Actually, what I'm gonna try to do, let me see if I can. If the page, I got a dry page, so I'm going to lay that on top and pick up that paint. Some of it may be dry already. It may get a little bit. And then peel it. Oh, yeah, so we got a little bit of a transfer there. Nope, junk bucks don't go away. If you log in with the same uh, user account, they accumulate. Okay, thank you so much, Robin. Yeah, accumulate. I like the teal. Do you like the teal on there? Again, another subtle background. You love the pages? Thank you, Carrie. All right, so we've done that. 
I've got, I've got another page here. Let's grab some more stencils. Oh, I like this one. This one was fun to use. I think I call it, it's, it's a stencil club, and I think it's like linked diamonds or something. I don't know. It was just interesting. I draw the stencils, and then my husband helps me cut them on our laser cutter that we have. Um, we got a new machine earlier this year, and it's really helped me be able to make stencils. I've been designing a few more. I hope to have some more stencils come out this weekend. I'm trying to decide if I want to drive down to Grapevine, Texas tomorrow for the stamp convention. I hate to get there and be disappointed. You know, I, I like to see new cool things, but it costs money to drive and uh, you know, for the fuel and then to get in and then if you get there and it's like bleh, meh, <laughs> then you're kind of like, I wasted my time. I like it. We think. Isn't that kind of cool? I, I don't know. I just like the way that comes together. Okay. Let's see here. I've got some junk mail here. Let's go. You want to go, Henry? <laughs> what kind of stencil paper do I like to use? Are you saying when I uh, take the stencil to paper? Any paper. I use copy paper. I use uh, book pages. I use notebook paper. Now, if you're talking about making stencils from scratch, I have a special plastic type product that we use. Yeah, if you won't know if you don't go. It's exactly right, Carrie, because then it's like, I want to go. But then I'm like, no, I don't want to go. But Henry's saying, let's go, so maybe we will. Uh, thank you, TLC, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, the stencil material. Okay, gotcha. The stencil material I buy in bulk. It's a special plastic that I use in our laser. I used to use transparency film. I don't know if you can see that. I still do every once in a while if I'm making a prototype at home and I don't want to bug Henry to cut it for me. Um, I found transparency film that I could use in my Cricut. And there's only one brand that worked for me in my scenario and it was an office depot brand and i bought like i don't know how many boxes of that stuff <laughs> but transparency feels what i use in my cricket or you can use you know uh, sheep protectors and hand cut them if you want yeah i miss a stamp expo i'd like to go to some of the stamp expo <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was getting my stencils out. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. Squirrel! <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, I got... Oh, yeah, I like the way this looks. Okay, oh, and I like that one. Okay, I got some more stencils out, y'all. <laughs> so this is, you know, this is another way that you can um, decorate your pages. It's all I'm trying to show you today. You know, sure, I'm using uh, stencils, but here I'm just using the dauber. So if you have a sponge or something, you can load it up with some acrylic paint. And why I like it is because it's relatively inexpensive. So if you do flub up, you know, it's like, ooh, why did I put that color on that color? That's just awful. That you don't feel bad about painting over it. <laughs> That's what I think. You know, if you dislike it, paint over it. There may be a time that it's just gone. You just can't quite do it. Well, just coat it with white paint again and go again. I like the way that turned out. That's kind of cool. Just trying to clean the dauber out. You've been, I see, plastic file folders work well. Yep, yep. Sheet dividers. Been wanting to try something else. Gotcha, Regina. Yeah, I use um, transparency film. 
transparency film. If you're doing it by hand, you can do it with transparency film. You could also do it with um, uh, cold lamination. You know, you laminate a piece of paper, maybe even make a, die, a design on a piece of paper, laminate it, and then you can cut it out with your craft knife. Where there is a will, there is a way. All right, I'm going to clean my dauber some more. I'm having fun. Can y'all tell? <laughs> I like the way it looks. I'm probably making the camera shake. Sorry, y'all. But I'm having fun. It kind of looks like bubbles every so often on the piece of paper. So it'll make a cool background. Okay. Shiny. Yeah, shiny. If it's giving you airs, refresh anytime that you're on a YouTube video. By the way, whenever you're done with my video watching it today, uh, click on somebody else's video before you leave YouTube. And even if you just watch it for a couple of seconds, just let it play for a moment and then leave YouTube. That way you'll get still get notifications when I go live. Alrighty, so let's see. I got another stencil out. I think I need to paint a couple more pages. I've got another purple one here, but I think I need or want a pink. So I'm going to grab my pink paint and a little bit of a darker but not much Oop, booger paint booger what now no it does not cost money to have it linked there's no fee to do that and if and don't worry if you can't do it it's okay i understand I just appreciate any support you want to give me. All right, so I'm going to paint a few pages shades of pink here. So I've got a little bit of white with the pink. There's still a little bit of teal on my palette, but that's okay. It'll blend in. And my, I'm scooting around here. All right. Painting papers. All right, I'm going to paint a couple more pages in pink. We're going to use some stencils on it, and I'm going to get some junk mail, and we're going to decorate some junk mail so, so you can see other ideas of what to do with this. We'll make a couple of journal cards, and we'll make some, I guess we'll make some pockets. I'm gonna, I know I need pockets whenever I create journals, so it's always handy to have a few laying around. I'm hoping that doing all this use it up July challenge that I can create a bunch of elements that I'll be able to use in some of these journals that I have half started. I've got quite a few that I printed extra pages because I wasn't sure how many I was going to use or I printed it and never got around to making it. So I'm trying to do that, but the things that takes me the longest is the embellishments to put into the journals. And so I have to take time to make those. All right. I understand, darling. I understand. <laughs> Enchanted Forest. It's a pretty journal kit. It's um, darker blues and greens, kind of foresty looking on some of the pages. But this is charming, charming forest, not en enchanted, enchanted. This is charming forest. Charming forest is what I'll be using Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Let me do some more. Charming forest. And I thought these colors would just go really well. I like it. All right, so let's dry this. And then let's add some stenciling on top. 
Ja. I still have paint on my thing, so I'm trying to clean it off. I grab deeper onto the palette and so I got other colors. It's kind of cool how it happens. I'm just trying to blend it all together. Okay. Let's do some decorating. I've changed stencil material, so I don't know if this is going to work the same, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to put a little bit of paint into my palette. And I'm going to grab my card. It may not work on this, but no, I think it's going to work. So I'm just scraping through it. If, it's, if the design is simple enough. Oh, thank you, Raven, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If the design is simple enough, then you'll be able to scrape the paint through it using this method. If it has a lot of intricate cuts, that won't work. So what you can do is use the sponge method that I showed earlier. I like it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to spray it with some tattered angels to kind of reactivate the paint. And I'm gonna see what it does. It may not work, we'll try it. I dropped something on there. Come on. I may have waited too long. Yeah, Charming Forest, yeah, that's the kit. Ooh, now I like that. I got a little bit of a residual paint off of there. So this was through the stencil over here. And then that was mopping up off the stencil. That's kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and put my stencil in the water so it can clean up. Got a mess. Got a mess going on here. <laughs> uh, the white on the peak. Yeah, it's kind of cool, isn't it? I think I'm going to do the white and the pink again. And, oh, I've got the diamonds. Let's do the diamond stencil. I like doing it with the card because it, it kind of hollows out the middles, if you will. And... It makes it thinner in places and thicker in other places. I don't know. It's just a neat texture. Kind of cool. Okay. So I'm going to spritz it with Tattered Angels. And then I'm going to grab another piece of paper and quickly put it down and see what we get. And then lift it. Ooh, neat. It's kind of distressed, you know? Kind of cool, huh? Anything pink, Robin likes. Oh, thank you, Robin, for sharing the uh, Charming Forest journal kit. Ooh. I'm liking it. Coolie, coolie, coolio. So this was the large diamond stencil. Yep, cool. All right, I'm starting to run out of room to put papers. I think we got enough to get started on the next thing. So uh, a couple of people were asking me a while back about um, 
paint not sticking, glue not sticking. And I want to just re-show you again that if you've got a item and your Aline's Tacky Glue won't stick to it because it's coated, then grab a piece of sandpaper, you could use an emery board, something like that, and then just kind of give it a quick rough up, especially if you're going to be painting all the way over it, or if you're just wanting to rough it up where you're going to glue, you can do that as well. So what I'm doing now is I'm roughing this up because it's really quite um, slick, and so the paint kind of resists it and will chip off. I don't want to use gesso. I'm just going to sand it, and it is the size of this is about the size of a journal page. So I, in its cardstock, I thought I would use it to make a fun mixed media journal page. Okay. I'm just going to wipe it down with a towel to get some of that dust off of there. Okay. Yes, you can find some of my journals on my website. I've sold quite a few of them, but I do have blog posts and photos of quite a bit, so you can see those. All right, so here's my page that was junk mail. In Oklahoma, we have lots of casinos, uh, so we always get mail for casinos. And I thought this would be kind of cool to make it into a, a journal page. We'll use some of our mixed media pieces that we made today. We'll do some painting on it and maybe make a pocket. Right, I'm just putting some lotion on my hands because they get dry. They get dry. All right, so we're using Charming Forest. And I know that there's a little bit of white in this palette. Let's put a pale pink. And we're going to put some purple down. And maybe, maybe this lighter teal. A little bit of white. All right, so here's what I'm going to do to start with. I'm going to coat this all over. Not really worried about what's underneath. I'm just going to put coats on there because I know I'm going to put enough layers that you're not going to be able to really see what this was when it began. It's life. So I'm going to start with this dark purple and kind of add it in a few areas. And then, as I say in most of my tutorials, if you're going to layer colors like this, you want the colors to dry in between so they don't turn to mud. So I'm just hitting this with a heat tool. Yeah, I have been to the Wichita Mountains, Mariana. Yes, I have. Yeah, they were there just a few days ago. Um, Brittany, I still have some in my shop, and they will be there. Yeah, they'll be there up through the 15th on my shop. I had to think when I'm changing that over. So I will be changing out the Steampunk box uh, July the 29th, I think. Okay. All right, so I did just a little bit of purple there and dried it. I'm going to grab a little bit of a teal and kind of fill in in a couple of spots. See what interests me? Okay, and then I'm going to dry this one. You have a few casinos up there too, Mariana? Ginger Z was broadcasting there. How cool! Thank you, Mariana. All right. 
Let's see. I think I'll do some pink. Oh, I'm grabbing a little bit of white. See, you can't even see what was under there. Thank you, Mariana. Thank you, Giovanna. You live in Wichita, but you've never been to the Wichita Mountains. How funny, Nicolette. You should go. Check them out. You emerge in the thing but have no idea what it really means. <laughs> Are you talking about the end game, uh, Darla? <laughs> it's just nonsense. It's just nonsense. Okay. I know it looks like a hot mess, but I'm going to turn it over and we're going to do the other side. This time I'm doing a little different. I'm hoping that it'll kind of have kind of a a mottled background a little bit. So I just kind of scrape through all the colors onto the page. Alright, so we're going to draw that. This really works. <laughs> you love it, Carrie? <laughs> Thank you, Christy. <sighs> it only cost you 10 junk bucks. It looks like you won 18, so you gained, you netted 8. <laughs> um, we've going in Durant. And I don't think it's called Durango. It Maybe. I don't recognize that one. Henry and I kind of... That's our, um, our date night, if you will. We'll go to one of the local casinos and hang out and play for a little while. Usually because we have free money. Which means it's just money they give to incentivize us to go. You love the color, Sandra? Thank you. Like them colors. I think Durant. Yeah, there's one in Durant. It's a big one. Alright, I'm just trying to make sure it's dry. And it may kind of lift, depend on your surface. You know, um, it'll stick to your surface if you're not dry. Mine's not dry yet. Come on, dry, dry, I say, dry. Nothing like watching paint dry, right? <laughs> na, 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 please dry. <laughs> okay. Yay! Now, I'm going to grab a stencil. This is the uh, spinning flowers stencil. I'm going to get my dauber and I'm going to go into the, well, I'm going to do the teal and the white because I have a lot of it still here and we're going to pounce over the top of this. Let's see what that looks like. I think I want a little bit more teal. It was, it was kind of looking a little muddy. But I think putting the teal on top of that, oh yeah, that looks better, yeah? Just kind of adding a little pattern there. I'm going to add another pattern down here. Last week when I was doing all the mixed media stuff, I kept starting over here on the right and I'd work left. So today I thought I would try to start on the left and work right. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. So let's do it one more time. Pick up some teal on top.
Okay. I like it. We're just adding a little texture. I'm, I'm going to dry this and flip it over and do the other side. Okay, a few more minutes. And then we're going to do the raffle. So enter the raffle. I've only been on here for an hour. I feel like I've been here forever. <laughs> Shake up Alabama. Enter the raffle. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and do the other side. So that I can then put my stencil away. And clean it here in just a moment. I think this time I'm going to go down the center here. Do it a little bit differently on this side and we'll do it down here in this corner same same design we're just doing the other side oh I like that one the way that turned out it's just a little faint There we go. All right, so I'm going to clean my stencil out. And I think I'm going to clean my dauber off. I'm going to dry this. And I think we're about ready for the next raffle. Raffle. Oh, Deborah Vick must have ordered some stuff from Norella. What'd you get, Deborah? What'd you get? I like these dauber pages. They're kind of fun. <laughs> Alrighty. So, this should be almost dry without a heat tool. That kind of helps, and we're not making all that noise with that. You liking how it's turned out, Norella? It's kind of fun. Looks like a hot mess. <laughs> it's a hot mess. Uh, let's use this one. Actually, I don't have to use. I was going to use more stencils and I've changed my mind. Okay. I think that's just about dry. I need to clean my hands off. They're bugging me because they're so dirty with paint. Come on. I have some thieves in a spray bottle that I use. It doesn't dry out my hands. I find that if I also, after I clean my hands, if I'll squirt some hand lotion on and kind of rub that in a little bit, the paint and stuff comes out easier. Kind of Hunger Games feel, Darla. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Three casinos? Wow. Yeah, that's exactly right, Robin. If you don't like something, just keep going. Just keep working on it. Keep experimenting with it. So now I'm trying to look at this. I know we made all these pages earlier so I think ooh, because that kind of sticks out and I like this pink oh and I think I have that pale pink okay so now what I'm going to do is let's do some collaging on top of this I think I like this bright pink and what I'm going to do is, we know this is the center. I think I'm going to grab a couple of stamps. Decisions, decisions. So this part, I don't plan to write directly on. I've, I, I think I want to decorate it and then use these uh, book pages as things to uh, write upon. 
Sewing cam? <laughs> nope, sorry, sewing cam's not gonna be here today. It might be mixed media cam. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna stamp that. Adding some texture. And you won't be able to see all of it, but you'll see some of it. I think I like that. I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. Okay. I did that. I've got these. Okay. I like this pink for some reason. So let's see how much, how much can I get out of there? I think I'm gonna fold it in half and then tear on that fold mark. Bye, Norella, have a good night. Oh yeah, Las Vegas has got some great casinos, that's for sure. I think, do I wanna do it that way? Kind of like that. All right. And then Oh, I like this page too. Okay. I think I'm getting some game plans here. So I'm going to cut I've got these four pieces. I'm going to use these four pieces. We're going to do some other layering on here. Okay. Ah. Okay. I think these are going to go on this side. I may do it opposite. I may do it this way. And then do this. And accent it with some more pink. Okay. I've got a plan now. Planning it out. I want a pocket on here as well. So I'm going to kind of decide if I want to put a pocket across the whole bottom here. And I think I like the way that teal looks. So I'm going to get a journal card I have over here somewhere. That might be big enough. Let's do that. I'm going to glue a piece to this. So I'm going to cut it. Let's see here. We're going to cut it at about three inches. So I'm going to make a three inch strip. And that's going to go down here and be a tuck spot. My pocket. We're going to use this teal color, so I'm going to glue that together. Okay. Oh, it's time. Okay. It's time to do the raffle. All right, so I just glued those together, and I'm just going to take my scissors and trim them. Trim it. Okay, so now we've got that little piece, and I'm going to do the raffle as instructed. Oh, I guess I can write down some of it, so. <laughs> All righty giveaway we're gonna pick a winner marie duncan marie you won the little journal cards congratulations you won the little journal cards so now let me let me grab another prize oh here we go I've got, these are uh, bookmarks. <laughs> I was trying to remember the word for them. 
<laughs> These are bookmarks that I made. I did them for a challenge. Yay, you won, Marie. Congratulations. And I did these for a challenge, and I made a few extras, so I'll raffle these off today. So I've got two little bookmarks that I made. I've got a tutorial that shows these. Yay, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, so we're going to reset, and I'm going to put bookmarks and open giveaway. All righty. Let's put this up here in my pile. Yay. Whew. Okay, so we got this part. I'm going to put this down here, put this over here. I'm trying to decide what else I can put on here or how I want to decorate it. Okay, we're going to start by using some distress inks. And I'm going to go around this piece. And I'm going to go around the pink pieces. And I'm okay with that they're they're jagged because it just kind of gives the feel that we're using junk that we happen to have laying around. Yay! Alrighty, so I've got those two pieces. Those are gonna go on the other side. All right, so as I'm looking at this, I know I'm gonna put that one up here, and I'm thinking about putting that one at the bottom. And I saw a piece of paper a moment ago that I think I could use there. Oh, and I see some other stuff. I wonder if that's too bright. <laughs> too bright. Too bright. Oh, but I've got this butterfly. Might look good up there. And that might look good on there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I saw, oh, here we go. Well, here's a piece I made the other day. Let's do that. This is just notebook paper. So I think that could go up there. All right, so let's fussy cut this guy out. I like to, uh, make stamped items that I know I can fussy cut out and I will stamp a whole bunch and then I'll color them with watercolor uh, or with tattered angels in this case and then when I'm done since I'm using beeline design stamps and their angel policy is very very generous I go ahead after I've colored them all up I'll do a whole sheet of paper and I'll scan it into my computer and then I can print it over and over. I don't have to spend the time stamping each image again if I know that I want a bunch of blue butterflies. I've got access to it in a digital file. So there's you a tip. If you're using Beeline Design stamps, you can copy them. You can uh, scan them in. The only thing that they ask is you don't make rubber stamps off of their images. So if you want to print stuff off, you can stamp it, scan it, and print it. All right, so I'm just cutting this out. So I think that would look cute over here. This is gonna look good up there. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut this in half, and we'll use the whole piece there. And I think I'll marry them together a little bit with some acrylic paint. So, if I can see to cut it. All right. I miss bread, Darla says. See you later, Tamara. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. 
I've got a few elements here, so let's add some distress inks. Because I think that would be cute. Put that there. Let's do this one. This can be a pocket within a pocket. Okay. I think we need some shabby stitches. So I'm going to get a piece of paper here. And I've got the shabby stitches rubber stamp. It looks like sewing machine stitches. Oh, thank you, Susan. You're so sweet. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Susan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Let us know what you've been working on. Tell us about what's going on with you. All right, I'm going to use the shabby stitches, and I'm going to stamp all the way around the edge of this. I think that'll be cute. All right, I'm going to do all the pieces. Do all the pieces with shabby stitches. <laughs> Smash that like button, Luann says. Or Luanna says, thank you. <laughs> Share the video, too. I mean, I know it's long when we do these uh, live events, but I try to make them fun. I try. All right, so I stamped all of that. All right, so I'm going to stamp this piece of paper. Okay. All right. I'll go ahead, since I know I'm going to use these pieces and I haven't put Distress Ink on them, I can still stamp on them. And then that way I can put away the stamp block. An ink pad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I need to clean my studio. I just don't have time. <laughs> and I'm I'm afraid to. <laughs> I'm afraid if I start getting rid of things that I'm gonna want it. <laughs> I've you know spent many a year collecting this stuff in here. I don't want to just let go of it lightly. <laughs> All right. So here's what I'm going to do now is I've got my elements that I stamped. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere these pieces down. Now, if you use heavier paper or maybe if you back this, you could make this an additional pocket in the journal. In fact, it's not super lightweight. But I think it might be, oh, I won't put glue there. We'll, we'll let it be kind of a pocket. So I'll put it up here towards the top, like so. And then that way, if you want, you've got a little pocket right here. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this one in the bottom corner. And we'll make it a pocket as well. Who knows? I plan on making a journal with all these pieces, so depends on who ends up with it. We'll put that down here. All right. Yeah, <laughs> I understand, Robin. I really do. I'm like, no, I don't want to get rid of anything. <laughs> just in case. Can't I just have more space? <laughs> and he's like, no, you can't have any more space. And I'm like, but, but I need my things. I really, I need it better organized. I've, it's a little bit in a uproar of mess right now. All right. I think what I want to do now 
is I want to add a little bit more texture to this. Aha! Here's what we're going to do. I've got the uh, diamond bar stamp. It comes uh, cling mount ready. It's got cling on it and you have to use an acrylic block. My stamp is really old because Beeline Designs has been around since uh, 1994 I think it was and I've known her all this time so I get to use her uh, stamps. All right, so I'm just going to pounce with my dauber in this teal color. And I think I'm just going to stamp it right across wherever it falls here. I like it. And then I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay, and then we're going to put it right over here in the corner. I'm going to do it again up here. Painting on your pages and rubber stamping. Okay, I'm going to take my stamp and put it in water to help clean it off. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I need a warehouse or a barn. You're exactly right, Robin. You are exactly right. There's a there's a business that closed that used to be like, um, like a like a Dollar General size store, maybe a little bit bigger than that. And I was like, oh, I'd love to have that space if it weren't so expensive for rent. <laughs> What do you think? You like it with the different layer on top of the other? And then if we go in here and add, oh, I didn't put distress ink on this piece. Okay, how are we doing on time? Join the raffle. And then after uh, this raffle, we'll start the journal raffle. I think that's what I want. What do you think? That looks kind of cute. Let's glue that. I say, what do you think? I think it's pretty cute. Echo that. <laughs> oh. Can you see where using stencils and acrylic stamps or acrylic paint and stamps, how you can make your own version? Who's been following along in my Use It Up July? Have anybody been doing that? Okay, I'll do it now. Yeah, I need a huge she shed. You're exactly right. Yes, thank you, Giovanna. I saw it. Are you close to getting your junk bucks, Giovanna, and you want me to... Award them before we get off here so you can get your coupon. I can do that in a moment. All right, I'm just trying to glue this down so it's done before I do the raffle. It's time to do the raffle. I'm using it up, y'all. Oh, that butterfly's a little too far over. There we go. Yay! Okay, let's do the raffle. You can see I'm going wonderfully crazy with all types of media. For sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Oh, thank you, Marie, for your donation. Thank you. All right. So the winner of the bookmarks. The bookmarks. I don't know why I'm trying to write this down because it's weird that I do this. Um, Susan Gerald. Susan, you won the bookmarks. Bookmarks. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to finish this page. I'm going to decorate this side. I'm going to make a journal card to go in this pocket. All right. Well, actually, I have one. <laughs> I'm cheating. All right. So I have one for that side. We'll make one for the other side because we'll put a pocket over here. We started with this piece. 
We've got this piece and this piece. Now we just need a pocket to put right here. And why not use maybe that pink right across there? I think that would work. So let me grab a, uh, grab a piece. All right, so we're gonna start the last raffle. You're welcome. Oh, well, so glad you're here, Susan. You won, thank you, thank you. So we're gonna do the journal and it is i got the sweet elegance on the front has random other images on the inside this is truly a junk journal because this was just stuff that i had in my stash and i just cut the papers to fit and started putting them together so it's just a bunch of different things that are in here that i had in my stash so that if you've donated, you'll be able to enter the raffle when I start it here in just a moment. So I'm going to reset. Yes. And we're going to put sweet journal. All right. So these people donated today. We have Deborah Vick, Christy Johnson, Mary Jones, Sherry Deskins, Darla Warrior, Carrie Ann the Little Gypsy, Paper Puddles, Debbie, Christy and Johnson again, Mariana, Janice, Luana, TLC something, which is, I'm trying to remember which one you are, uh, Angie, I think, Christy again, Raven, and Marie Duncan. So those people have um, donated, and so they are eligible to enter the raffle. <laughs> okay. If we donated at the beginning, we are in the entry. Right. So, Darla, your name is on there. So, you donated. So, you get to enter the raffle. You got it. You understood perfectly. <laughs> All right. So, let's trim this to three inches. And we'll make another pocket. <laughs> Glue this on the back. Yay! <laughs> now it's it's funny because people sometimes don't understand and so I have to explain it and then some people get it and some people don't. I'm like, well, am I not explaining it right? What else do I need to say? <laughs> it's pretty simple. You got it! Whoop whoop! <laughs> Slipping junkie doos a 20 is an optional. <laughs> oh dear. I pick up a different pair of scissors every time I do this. Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. Okay, so I didn't stamp this piece because that's my pocket. That's my pocket. So let's stamp that. You could sew it with a sewing machine. You could doodle it. You can use other edges. You could take a pen and just draw lines. You could use a ruler and get precise lines. It just kind of depends on what you want to do. It's exciting like being at the fair. <laughs> Junk baby, you're just starting out. You're just starting out watching me. That's what you are, Junk baby. <laughs> All right, I think let's add some distress inks to all of these pieces. I need to clean my dauber out. This is your first time, dollar. We're so glad to have you here. Oh, you earn junk bucks just for being here and for your donations. I appreciate you watching, giving some feedback, sharing the videos. And I hope you're having fun. Yep, and if you donate, your rankings go up. Yeah, junkin' baby. <laughs> it's just silly. <laughs> it's silly names we gave each level. <laughs> when um, my friend and neighbor helped me set up the software, he said, well, let's give them something. We need to give them bucks. But let's call them something silly. And we came up with junk bucks. And we, we were trying to figure out how do we, what do we do for the robot? 
and that's the bot that you see in the chat and he says how about how about junkie joe i said oh that's perfect <laughs> so and then we just try to tailor everything around junk journaling <laughs> Yep, as, you're, as you participate in live streams, your rank will go up. I need, what is, I wonder what mine is. Here, I think it'll show if I go books. Because I'm, you know, I should be at all the live streams, right? <laughs> Says I'm a junk master three. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, so it's just just a little bit of a <laughs> junk master. You got it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put, I like this jagged edge. All right, we're going to glue this one down, and I'll make it a pocket so that if later when I'm putting the journal together, I want to stick something in it, I can, or whoever gets the journal, they can put it in there. So let's put that right about there. I'm liking it. And we'll put this one over here. Junkin' Master, yeah. <laughs> I hope you're having fun. We're, you know, we're kind of crafting together, if you will. I'm trying to show y'all to enjoy what you're doing. Don't fret about it. And just have fun. All right, let's put that here. I'm liking it. All right, I'm going to dig in my bag of goodies here in just a moment to look for something else to embellish this page we'll make a journal card i think i'm going to do the same thing what i did with the uh, stamp that i can't seem to find right now i clean the stamp off ah there it is <laughs> i'm losing my mind y'all <laughs> Uh, go wild and crazy. Uh. Yay! I'm glad I'm giving you some ideas. And remember, always clean your stamps after you put acrylic paint on them. Because it will mess them up. Just down in the crevices. You have to clean them off. Cute, cute, cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, let's stamp this up here. Yay, I like it. You like it, Darla? Yay, I'm so glad. That's why I've been doing them, trying to have some fun and teach y'all a little bit, encourage you. You can do this. You can do this. All right, this stamp is in front of me now. All right, I think I'm at a point I need to dry. Oh, Pookie. I dropped stuff in the floor. How to craft a lanch. I have, I have little space around me today. <laughs> okay. Pardon me while I clean up my mess. Oopsie. <laughs> Yes, that's what I do. I have a pan right here. I'll uh, show y'all. So, let me move the camera. So, I have a little pan of water right here. 
and I just put all my stuff in there and then when I'm done I will go take that to the sink and wash it all out. Did I get that back right? <laughs> Craft a latch! Oh, we've got these little tickets. Oh, wait, maybe. I wonder if that would go like that. And I have one of those flowers. Or I have this little birdhouse image. That might be kind of cute there, huh? Let's cut those out. Let's cut them out, man. Normally I have this done ahead of time. I've been busy. Yesterday I, I went and got a massage and when I got home, I was so tired. I thought, well, I'll just lay down for a few minutes. And I took a three hour nap yesterday. <laughs> so I was busy. My, one of my friends was looking for me. She's like, where are you? I know you're busy. I, I know that, but are you that busy? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was busy sawing logs. <laughs> just taking a nap. It's <sighs> what you do on hot days. Take a nap. Take a siesta. And then you can stay up just a little bit later at night when it's cooler. We went outside last night, and even at 10.30 last night, it was still very warm. It was pretty, but, but also kind of warm. We didn't have a breeze. Yeah, I like the best cleaner ever. Yep, I used that one, Luann. I was on their design team. I even have a link if you guys ever want to buy it. Just let me know. I've got a, I get commission. I can give you an Amazon link, or I can give you one direct to their website. And you can order it from the nice lady that sells the best cleaner ever, the best glue ever belly jelly and a couple other products all right so I just trimmed those up I think that would look kind of cute up there so we're gonna add some distress inks to those up at night that's your specialty I like to stay up late the problem is I, I have to get up early to start my day and if I stay up too late I would sleep too late and then yeah I don't get anything done <laughs> so I go to bed at what I consider a reasonable hour usually well before 11 p.m. <laughs> I think I like it. What do you think? Not yet. Not yet. We're getting there. We're getting close. I'm going to finish this page and make a journal card and then we will be done. We will. We will. It's coming up really close. So if you want a chance to win the little journal I showed, just make a donation of any dollar amount and I will start saying last call here in just a few minutes when I'm working on the journal card. And then we'll do the drawing. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I greatly appreciate your support and being here. I have fun. I hope you have fun. Usually when I get done, my face hurts from smiling and laughing. <laughs> That's when you got off work, 11 p.m. That's late, Mary. Wow. But I know people do it because your schedule is completely different than mine. So I, I think I could work uh, later in the day and stay up later at night. I don't know why. I, I like the cooler hours at night. What do y'all think? Do you like it? 
I hope you do. All right, I'm gonna make a journal card for this pocket. It's almost started anyway, but let's see what I've got here. Okay, we already did that same image. Do we wanna do that image? Let's do this one. I'd fussy cut a couple of images trying to decide what I wanted to use. So we'll do that one. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for your donation, Miss Didio. If, make sure that you message me with your um, YouTube name and your email address on my website after you create a user account. All right, I'm going to, uh, this one I forgot to stamp the edges and I think it needs it. So I'm going to get out my stamp again and grab another sheet of paper. And I'm going to stamp across here. And then we'll go this way. Come on now. Cooperate. So I've, I'm putting a piece of paper down so that when I stamp, I'm not getting it on the purple piece. It looks like I stamped on the piece before I put it down. See, that's how you fix your errors, y'all. <laughs> you just you just work around it. There. And I think that made it that much better, don't you? Type in raffle if you donated. So I'm going to stamp this one. It's easier because I'm not having to deal with the other paper. Okay, set that aside for a moment, and let's um, let's apply some distress ink. That's right. There's no errors in junk journaling. You just figure it out. There was an omission. That's what there was. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Mary. It's done when you say it's done. That's right, Marianne. I agree with that. Okay. I've got this little thing. I've got this little guy. I think we need a saying. Ooh, and I think I'm going to do this. Every mountaintop is within reach if you just keep climbing. I think that'll be a good one. This is um, Nature Walk Quartet. And this is in my shop. I think that's the right one. Oh no, that's a different one. This is the one I want. Okay. Just trying to get the right stamp. I gotta get the right stamp. I've got a square uh, journal card here. And I'm gonna put this cling stamp onto a block. We're gonna block it. And let's try to get it straight. That's the hard part. But I liked what I did earlier because it wasn't straight. I just put it on there crooked. And I'll show you what I mean because I'm going to do it on purpose this time. So this time I'm going to deliberately tilt my stamp just a little bit and then stamp. Okay, so it's not straight. See how it's not straight? So this is how you make this artistic. I'm going to use my... Uh, paint dauber with the blending tool and put a little paint kind of blend that around and I'm going to dry it dry it Thank you so much, Susan. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. 
Only happy accidents, no errors. All right, so that should be dry. I'm gonna go around the edge with some Distress Ink. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue this piece down. All right, this is it, last call. Make sure you've entered the raffle. When I finish this card, I'll kind of putz around for a moment and then I'll do the drawing for the right for the journal. <laughs> you gotta be in it to win it. All right, so I'm gonna put this on here. This is cut at four and a half, no four and a quarter by five and a half, and then I just cut just a little bit smaller, so four by five and a quarter. So it's a nice little mat on some purple cardstock that I happen to have in my stash. And then here's this piece that we stamped that was stamped crooked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adhere it down where the text is straight. Okay? So the text is straight and I'm gonna adhere that down. It's just a creative way that you don't have to worry about are you perfect. Yeah, it's supposed to be that way, but I did on purpose to, to truly show you. And then we're going to put this guy right there. Yay! Alrighty. Any more questions? Anybody have any questions? See? And then there's the journal card, just like that. Yeah, straighten the text. Stamp it crooked on purpose and then straighten the text. And look how the layers turn that. Isn't that cool? You can do that, right? You can do that. It's, it's not that hard. You can do that. And I'm using, you know, things I had in my stash. So we're doing the Use It Up July. <laughs> okay. All right. Anything else? Let me see. I can make, I've got enough supplies to make two more cards unless you're ready to go. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sandra, so much for your donation. And then this will go here. Oh, I didn't get it down. All right, so this is what I made. Yeah, try to cut, and, and but if you don't, just do that. Thank you so much. You already have an account, Mar Mariana. You already have an account with me, Mariana. You've purchased stuff. So, yeah, it's asking for your password. If you don't know your password, send me a message to the contact me, and I'll message you your password. Uh, it'll be an updated password. Okay, Mariana, you already have an account. Yeah, I can, I can, you will have to go into email if I message you your new password. <laughs> make more, okay, I'll make a couple more journal cards. Yeah, if you already have an account, just message me on the contact me form. If you, if you can't get in, just message me there. And uh, I'll take a look at it. All right, so I've got I've got another one here. So let's do the same thing. We'll just stamp this. I mean, I know it's the same pattern, but sometimes if you see it two or three times, it starts to gel. Like, oh, that's how I can do that. This is this is coming together now. When I do my workshops, that's usually what we'll do is we'll we'll make something two or three times like that okay let's add some distress inks it didn't ask you for a password yeah it, it may if you just put your email address in there and just log in then um, 
it should have let you pick a password and all that. Thank you, Christy. You're welcome, Luana. Yeah, it's very cool. It's it's for the journal that I'm working on. I've been I'll show y'all before I get off here if I find the Ziploc baggie. Um I have a few pages that I've been working on. What did I do with those? Oh, here they are. Okay. I'll show y'all these when I'm gonna make this card. And then I'll show you. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue those pieces together. I want to make sure there's a lot of glue on the corner. Okay. And then let's grab another square. So I got another square. And there's another saying I saw in here. What is that one? Um, in every walk with nature, one receives more than he seeks. Yeah, you saved your password. You got to say it. <laughs> got to hit remember. <laughs> That's what I do now. I've Now if I use a, a service to log in, they save it for me so I don't have to worry. It's kind of handy. Okay, we're going to stamp this. I had to find my stamp pad. Again, I'm going to stamp it on here a little bit crooked on purpose. Okay, and then let's use the paint dauber again. See there? I'll dry it. Let's add some distress ink. Okay, and then again, we're gonna turn it sideways and glue it on there where the text is straight. Okay. Is that straight? No. A little crooked. Right there. Right there! And then I think I'll put that down here in this corner. And we'll put that here. You like that? This is uh, some of the pages that I've made. This is some journal cards that I made. I got a tutorial for that. Um, this is what we did last week on the live. So I made this page. This one was using acrylic paint and Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist to get colors. Made this one a couple weeks ago. So I've just been saving them. Because I, I want a really colorful journal. I plan to, this one I'm not going to show y'all, but because I plan to do a tutorial. So sneak peek! <laughs> and then I made a bunch of journal cards this week too. Alright. Is everybody all good? Thank you, Junkie Joe, for going to my... That Contact me is where I want you to contact me if you need help with your account on my website or if you want a prize today, okay? Wait, for what link? The, <laughs> the link that Junkie Joe just sent, Mariana, to go to the Contact Me on my webpage. 
Are you doing it on your phone or are you doing it on a computer? You like it? <laughs> Mariana, I'll send you a message on Facebook. <laughs> well, thank you, Karina. All right, we'll stamp this one. So, yeah, you're kind of seeing as I build that journal all the little pages and elements. And I'm just putting them in a Ziploc bag. And when I think I've got enough or the perfect cover, I'll make it into a journal. That's my goal anyway. Yeah, your computer. Okay, yeah. So, um, I'll send you. A t I'll send you a message later on Facebook, so you don't have to open your email, and I'll help you navigate. Okay. Thank you, Christy. All right. So this is it. This is the last thing I'm gonna make today on the live stream. <laughs> All right, I got that. We're going to put this on here. And grab another piece. Now this time I'm going to look at it a little bit differently because I'm using this rose stamp and it's a little bigger. And I think what I want to do is Beauty is Soul Deep. I want to put that up there. So I'm deliberately putting my journal card down near where I think I want it. And I'm going to put the stamp on here. I'll ink it up. I'm sure I've got it somewhat straight. And I'll stamp it right up here. Okay. So that's done. And now I'm just going to grab the paint and fill in it looks like you spent hours agonizing on how you're going to put this together and we didn't <laughs> yeah that's that was a um turquoisey what was it? it was the punked out steam let me find it. It was frosted steam from the punked out steam kit sprayed on top of pink paper. That's how I got that look. Okay, Mariana. Yep, it was glimmer miss. Yep, yep, it was glimmer miss. And because I sprayed that teal over the pink, it has the, the blue, you know, hues to it, but kind of churns purple. Um, shake them really well, and then if they do jam up, then take the sprayer apart and clean it with warm water and put it back together. Um, part of the reason they clog is if you don't get that mica broken up before you start spraying, it just sucks up a whole glob of that, and then it can't function. I'm liking it. So again, I've stamped it Cricut on purpose because now it's become a design element. So I'm just going to place it on the card straight. And then we'll put the rose in the corner below it. All right. Do I see any questions? You haven't got that color? Yeah? <laughs> okay. Yes, Sherry, I'm working on it. Uh, I've been busy, and so I haven't really had time to design it. Uh, so I'm going to doodle it all out, and then I got a bug, uh, 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 Norella to help me. Okay. I can't answer messages and craft at the same time. <laughs> all right.
right. Well, those are the two journal cards I made. Are y'all ready for me to do the... What stit I use the default settings, Sandra, for my zigzag stitch. Whatever your machine has for the default, find out on your machine, stitch it, and see if you like it, and then just go wider if you want wider. Usually, wider looks better than narrower. Okay, how do I keep my sanity? Um, when I get off here, I'm going to go get me some little snack, <laughs> and I'm going to relax. <laughs> ah. You like the crickets? Isn't that cool with the cricket stamping? Because it, it comes together, and you don't know that if, by chance, you were trying to get it straight, when you do a design like this, it looks completely on purpose. Okay? Ah. You like those cards? Thank you, Darla. Does Linda make and design stamps too? I, I'm i not yet. The laser cutter will do stint stamps. I have not spent the time to do it yet. All right, we're going to do the journal raffle now. And then I got to clean up for the day. All right. Does my snack taste like a margarita? Oh, I guess it could. <laughs> no worries. Don't be patient. <laughs> margarita. Aria. <laughs> All right. So we used some junk mail. We used some book pages. We used acrylic paint. I used Tattered Angels. We used rubber stamps. Did y'all learn anything? All right, we're going to do the raffle now and see who has won this journal. Are y'all ready? I'm not a machine, y'all. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's check it out. Let's see who's going to win. Woohoo! Biting nails. I'm going to get a drink of water first, though, so I'm, I'm you know, well... Uh, um, Got my mouth nice and moist and ready to call out the winner. <laughs> All right. Whew. <sighs> Refreshed. Pick a winner. And the winner is Raven Patel. Raven, congratulations. Raven, winner of the journal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's awesome. Yay. Sorry to the others, but no, go to, your, go to my website. <laughs> uh, you like the journal from Lily? Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, yes, you won, Raven. Now go order something from my shop. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Yay. I'm glad you refreshed. You could come back. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Whoop, whoop. I was trying to make sure I didn't put it down in any paint. Oh, I can do this. I can move that. Did you see the journal? I hope you saw it. I think it's pretty. It's pretty. I need to make more like this. I haven't done it in a while. It takes time, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Bye for now, Darla. Thanks. <laughs> yep, I've got it, Raven. <laughs> uh, I like these. I like to have these turned out. That was fun, y'all. I hope you liked it. And my journal page that I made. I'll take some photos of this, and uh, we'll get them up on the blog. So you can have those as a reference. Okay. Yes, please contact me through my webpage, through the contact me there. That way I can have your email address and I kind of have a record of it because it sends me an email and I have a place that I can kind of go through and work on them. No, it is not too late to get the yellow creative box. Remember, it's not a subscription. But yes, you can order it anytime, Sandra. Thank you so much, Mariana. Thank you, Carrie. 
Hope you have a fabulous day. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Susan. Yay, I'm glad you have fun. I enjoy it. It's fun for me, so sometimes I'm a little tired when I get here, but <laughs> I, I have fun. Ugh. You're very welcome. See you Monday. Is T a bag journal? Is this a bag journal? No, it's not a bag journal. But it has a bag in it. Thank you so much, Barbara. Bye, Raven. Bye, Luann. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mariana. <sighs> You're welcome, Christy. Thank you. Bye, Christy. <laughs> Christy and Christy. <laughs> All righty. I'm going to get off here. Y'all have a fabulous rest of the day. Lots of love to you. See you Monday. Check out my uh, tutorial videos that will be coming out uh, every day, pretty much. <laughs> Y'all take care. Bye.